Hello gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Battle Brothers. This is episode 41. Last time I took some heavy, heavy losses. Luckily I did decide to retreat and suffer some injuries. I had enough money to back that up. They did attack me as I wanted to surround them and attack them. So they broke out, attacked me, killed three of my guys. Well, actually only two because one guy kind of survived. I want to attack them now. There should be less people in there now. I had to fight against like 19 with my dirty dozen and now it's only 9, that's what it's supposed to be. But I was so unlucky because they had just rushed out. They've got two ranged guys apparently or maybe three. They don't have shields which is good. You just end your turn. I want to see how he, he does against a pickaxe. Okay, they are kind of hiding, unfortunately. 61, 67, okay, 67, aim shot. Here we go, okay. Not good. Two, four, six, eight. There will be one more. Okay, can shoot at him 9%, that's not so great. 9%. Okay, you'll actually wait till the end of turn, but you should be able to shoot. There's also this thing in the way. But I hit him. That's good. So you can shoot as well. Shoot at him, come on. Okay. Now, spear wall. End your turn. You just... Move back one tile, actually. See, you can otherwise move and attack. You just stay there. You move back one tile as well. You just stay there. You just stay there. You just stay there. Okay, now I'll risk shooting with you. Okay. A waste of resource. You wait. I think they will be shooting and they actually have range. They can hit me quite heavily. I need to retreat with him or he'll be gone. And now he's very smartly doing... doing that. But I can hopefully outsmart him by killing him. Okay, they will actually hold the line. You can move here, please. I have to... I have to go forward. Unfortunately. The two of you can hold the line against this guy. I don't want you to engage, but you can do a shield wall. You can maybe go here. Protect the archer a bit. Good. Not so good. Not so good. But I have to risk shooting here. You can go around a bit at least. And you engage. Good. Casimir the idiot. You also walk around here. Okay, I should have let him stay there maybe as to provide cover for my archers. That was maybe a bit stupid. Okay, he will pro most likely die next next round. Good. Okay, they are closing in now. Okay, that's what I feared. Okay, he needs to retreat. I can shoot at him, 61%. Not good enough. You maybe go around here as well. Huh. You wait here. You do a shield wall. And you have to retreat. 
shield wall. Okay, that was ex to be expected, kind of. Maybe you move forward and sh get a better chance to shoot at them from here. Okay. Go for the higher ground. I think it's worth it. And you have to kill him. There we go. Now move forward and he can't shoot anymore. Really nice. And he can now move here. Also really nice. Yes, you should be wavering. Okay, it's a really good move to swap positions. The AI, the AI is incredibly good, I think. Okay, maybe you just go here. Okay, there's still something in the way. So you just wait. I think I should attack him first. And then do a shield wall because there are two guys, it's a bit too risky otherwise. You can engage. You can just stay there, you just stay there, you just stay there. And you just attack him. Okay, he's... I don't know, escaping my attempts to hit him. Okay, that was a lucky shot, a really lucky shot. 69% chance to hit this guy. I'll try. And I'll try again. Okay, end your turn. He'll be approaching and these three guys will massacre him. Oh no! Possibly I should have done the aim shot, but at least I hit him once. He's warmed up and he's about to die. I'll engage. Now let's see what that does. Nothing, because he doesn't hit. Good shot! Eleven percent only, maybe him. Oh, nice. Come on. I have to attack him. But this is much a much greater chance. I need to try to kill him. Okay. Because twenty eight percent is not really much. Eighty eight, sixty one, I need to do that. Okay, he could not escape, that's good. And now th these two are scared. Like hell, that's very good. The X guy will now attack me. He's trying to destroy Ivar's shield. But he did not. Nice shot, Alva. Stay there, okay. Good, Ivar. Now you surround them, please. Okay, he's knocked out two of my guys. That was pretty impressive. But it won't save him. Okay, it will. Shame. Nice shot. He's breaking. And he'll be broken in pieces. Maybe. Okay, out of stamina. He's also out of stamina. Okay, he'll actually escape. He won't. 
Neither will he, I think. I haven't lost the guy. This is the fight that should have happened before. Nice shot, Alva, with your last arrow. These guys can just stay there. Maybe you, I want you down here. Good. I should have moved him here. Okay, he's now in a fleeing mood. Him too. Goodbye. Run them down. He won't escape. He won't escape. Come on. Oops. Wrong button. But he's dead. No losses. Brilliant. Some injuries. Because he had no armor. Tostic is also pretty injured. Uh, there's one armor. That's good. Some gold. Very decent loot. Some stuff I can easily sell. Some stuff to keep. Let's go back to Schneefels. But first I need to take a break and kill those other brigands as well, because I need to t take revenge on them as well. He's too injured to fight, as is he, but he'll get this. Um, well, this actually quite fits quite nicely. How injured are you? Minus 20% fatigue. But you can fight, can't you? What about you? Reduced melee skill. That's not good. Well, it's just reduced defense. Okay, that's horrible with the split hand. I will use him. Baldoma. The brave. Okay, here we go. The rest is kind of okay can level up Carl. Carl is actually not really good. But he's okay-ish. He gets fast adaptation. That improves him a lot. Now Alva is level 8 now. That's pretty pretty cool. What shall I give him? I'll give him more hit points. And maybe... It's not worth giving him defense. Maybe range to defense or fatigue. Maybe fatigue. Now then, he did get berserk last time. What about fearsome? Make them scatter and flee. Any attack that inflicts at least one point of damage to hit points triggers a morale check for the opponent as opposed to only if at or above 15 points of damage. Duelist. Okay, with the offhand free, but it's a two-handed weapon. Killing Frenzy. Going, the kill increases all damage by 25% for two turns. That's pretty cool. And this is damage reduction. I think he, I'll go for Killing Frenzy with him. I should be able to level up more. So I should get even more perks. That's good. Um, okay. Seven brigands, another forest fight, I'll take them. Many brigand raiders, they don't have any archers. I'll take them on. This is now full revenge. If they were smart, they should just run for their pity lives. 16% chance, good enough for me. Okay, not so good. I should have waited possibly. 11%, that's not great. 33%. 30%. 
Oh man, this shooting is horrible. Now the rest just stays and waits. You can maybe... this is all blocked, so you can maybe go here. You can go here to form a line. You can actually go here. Come on! Get me! You, you pigs! With your grim faces! I know no mercy. I should have not done that. Because he will attack me. I need to shoot him down from his pedestal. Okay, not good. Okay, this is actually only 14%, but I'll, I'll try. Okay, not good. I won't move in, but I'll do a spear wall. And the shield wall. And you just... Can you still move? I don't know. I'd like to be able to scroll in this. To see the entire turn order. 29%, 8%. This guy is really annoying me. I'll attack twice. 6% only. Move in. 7%. For 43%. Okay. Okay, now this is blocked. He's not really super good, so I'll move in with him. Come on. I need to damage them. Kill this guy, please. At least he's injured. Look at my bloody axe. Now he won't be able to do anything. So just stay there. He's the last one who can do anything. Can he go up and attack? Okay, you actually go down and then wait. Because I can move you up one tile and attack. You just stay. Now he's hurting me. He is hurting me as well. Now it's going to be tricky. They start shooting. 37%. Not good. Okay, now it's his turn. He is kind of in grave danger. Karl. And him too. This guy is bleeding. And he should be dying. Okay, you move up. Great. Shield wall. I can't attack his shield with that guy. 7% chance to hit. That's not worth it. Come on. Forty-six percent. It's not going well. Shield wall. Okay, at least he died. Okay, I can't move in because there's still this guy. Sixty-four. That should be enough. Good. Now you move in. Not so good. Okay, there's another guy. Okay, this is it for him. I would so love to swap position now. To rotate him in. Unfortunately, I can't. 10%, 45%. Okay. I've got a plan. And that plan includes engaging with Ortwin. 
But the actual... Okay, there he goes. The actual plan is to see if he's got quick hands. No, he does not. He does not even have an axe. Thirteen percent. Are you kidding me? Try to knock him back. If I knock him back, he'll just go here, presumably. Come on. Good. But it won't be enough to save. Who's that? Hartmut. Shite. Forty nine, forty eight. Very good. Hartmut was to become a good guy, so that really sucks. Come on, kill him. Almost. Good. You are too injured to continue fighting. Go back. Well, not injured, but your armor is broken and shattered. As will be their skulls. I hope. Oh no! Oh no. And it'll be his turn too soon, I fear. It's my turn, but what good will it do? He'll die. And that will be the end of Baldomar the Tailor. I could try to escape, but uh, he will kill me. Oh, I'm still alive. Kill him. Now both of them can still do something. He needs to go first. Come on. No kill for him. Oh no. Okay, and he can't shoot because he's too tired. That sucks. Okay, that's it. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. This guy needs to go right now. What's my chances of pushing him back? 88%. Good. Now run for your life. Run, Forrest. Thirty-five percent, twenty-four. Okay, luckily he had to climb down so he couldn't attack me. Seventy-six, come on. A great shot, that needs to be good. He can actually shoot again. But not really. I need to... Should I engage? No, you wait. I want to shoot first. You also wait. You also wait. Okay, you stay. Okay, he can't shoot. Luckily, he can shoot. Run! Hmm. 
I need to engage them, unfortunately. Run them down. I want to kill this guy as well. I want to kill them all. As they killed my brethren. How do you feel without your helmet? You feel dead. Oh, everyone survived. But he's got a permanent broken elbow joint. Carl needs to be dismissed. He's got a maimed foot. Which sucks, so I can dismiss him as well. Missing nose is not too bad. Let's check. No, Carl, he's he's not really good anyway, that was. I mean, he's a survivor. Missing ear, broken thing. That's an achievement if you've got three severe injuries. But it won't be you to get the achievement because I... How can I field you in battle? I mean, 20% mainly. I mean, I could. As a shit guy. Yeah, I will actually like like a naked idiot in a shit helmet. Okay, no, not with that weapon. Oops. More like with a great sword. There we go. Now he, Baldoma, he's got a maimed foot, which sucks, and he's not a really good fighter anyway. I might get rid of him. Hartmut, he's got a missing finger, he's got a missing nose, he's a survivor as well, so... And he's a better guy than the other one, and he's also a Spartan, I'm going to keep him for sure. And this is 110, and this is 90, okay. Please repair this. Luckily he's got such an amazing helmet. Bernard can level up, some melee, some melee defense and some fatigue. You need... You're a really good guy. I want you to be a student. Ivar, fast adaptation for sure. Ivar... There we go. Now... Also, Gisbert has leveled up. There we go. Give him some skill. Should I give Gisbert the Miller throwing? So that he can do both? No, he gets fatigue and melee defense, I think. And fast adaptation. Balduin, you're going to be an amazing archer. And you'll also get some health. You actually need... Okay, you will also be a great student. And you need to get a proper armor. At least a better armor. Maybe I'll actually give him a, that. Just to protect them better. What about Erland? Hmm. He gets that, but he can also level up. Fatigue, shooting. Maybe also health. He actually also gets a better armor. I want to keep them. Fast adaptation, there we go. Okay. The broken nose is pretty painful. Don't have any other guys. I think I can recruit like one. Is it correct? No. Let's go and get the reward finally after so heavy losses. I still need to decide whether I should get rid of Carl. I still got the other survivor, so and he is not amazing. I will get rid of Carl. Repair that please. Repair that please. Repair 
that, please. Okay. Can I repair that to... No. Um, can I put that actually in here? Yes, I can. Reserve. Armor. How much would that reduce? Okay, it doesn't reduce fatigue. That's pretty cool. Now then, so I put that here, just in case it doesn't reload. When it's down here, I need to buy food as well. Now, Carl, you need to go. You get some compensation so that the others don't get unhappy. You've just got a pierced hand. You are fit for duty. Okay. Let's go and get the reward. Oh, there are some brigand... Oh, no, better not. Okay, I took my revenge. Lost some guys. Lost good equipment. So, but I didn't lose my very best guys, at least. So, I will take a contract in the next episode. Let's just see if I... Oh, I could actually do some trading. That would be quite nice. I do need food. Some variety. No, this is too expensive. Um, I can sell some stuff as well. Like, for example, one crossbow, one morning star, three pick hammers because I've got one equipped anyway, the knife. This falchion, some of the broken shields, got better shields. Now this linen tunic, and also this, also this, and this, and this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is travel to um, Holmgard because they should have. A herbalist. Yep, a gatherer set. And I can maybe sell the stuff with a profit. And that would then conclude this episode. Yeah, it's a big place, isn't it? Holmgard. Oh, well, it's a small fortification. But they I'm sure they need some supplies. Okay, let's rest. And let's go in. No, that's not a massive profit. But I can buy some medical, medical supplies. I need to fill on my ranks. Daytailers, there's another Houndsmaster. Let's go for the Houndsmaster. There's a replacement for Karl. He's actually very decent. He gets the better armor, he gets a shield. He gets a boar spear. Repair that. He gets a helmet. And he gets in the line of duty. He's fit again. Okay. There we go. I want to go to a big city. They don't even have a contract here. Wigstadt is really big, so let's go to Wigstadt. A tavern, a barber, fishing huts, a workshop, militia barracks, and amber. I can possibly buy some amber here. Maybe also get some, some work. Now this is what I call a profit. Look at this. Like nearly 300. 293 per. That's really good. And I need the salt for the fish, so lots of profit here as well. It's really worth trading in this game. Unfortunately, everything here is quite expensive to buy because they've got some problems that I can deal with in the next episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.